Hi class, this is Jill Mack, and I'm going over um, debugging using the compare feature, and this time we're doing it in um, Sublime Text. So here is here are two files, um, and it doesn't really, we're looking at PHP files, but it doesn't matter whether it's PHP files or whether it's um, HTML or Java or whatever it is, if you want to use the compare feature in a particular editor, sometimes you have to um, install it separately, and it depends on the version. Um, but um, when we go and look at um, the notes that I have on here, when we're looking at Sublime Text, this is a pit bucket has one that sublime compare side by side and so they might call it compare side by side they might call it a diff um, but um, usually it's compare and so we want to compare this file which is kind of the beginning file to um, to an after file so i'm going to also open this in sublime text so here we have the multi-directional array, and here we have multi-directional array. Okay, so let's try that again. Sometimes you got to do it a couple of times, and sometimes you have to make sure I'm grabbing the right one. Multi-dimensional array. Oh, here it is. Multi-dimensional array after. So let's look at this in Sublime Text. So when you open it up initially, um, you're going to see the Mon tabs. So we have them on tabs. And if I want to zoom this up so I can go to view and then I can go down to zoom. Where's the zoom? So it's view, zoom, control, plus or minus. So where's zoom? So it's here somewhere. So I'm just going to do the control plus, plus, plus. Oops. Control plus, plus, plus using the keypad and I want to make sure that it does it the same for both of them. So here I have um, them and now I want them side by side. So to see things side by side we're going to go into view again and we're going to go down to layout and in layout we have the options of a single which it defaults to and we want to go to columns. So um, we now have these two in the left hand column but I want to bring the after so I can just drag it over so we have the before on the left and we have the after on the right and if I want to see what's the difference between the two of them I go up to one of the tabs and I right click and I say compare and this is after we have installed and the install sometimes is a little clunky to get it to install right but um, I happen to have um, sublime text and it's um, unregistered so that doesn't make any difference when you're doing the install for a compare so I'm gonna say compare with or I can say compare with the active tab so um, it kind of opens it up in another one and it also comes up and says that there's zero intra line modifications three lines removed or three lines added there's a total of three so what you see in here, I'll just blow this up, is you see in the after, and if you want the before on the left, we can do that, and then the after on the right. I just always like to have it that way. <laughs> in my head, it works out better. But you can switch them around, and um, we see that what has been added is just an extra line in between them. But if I wanted to go up here and instead of saying Volvo, I wanted to say Ford. Oops. I can't edit them in. Suppose I said Ford here. It's not letting me edit as I go. It isn't. Maybe because we're in compare, so I'm going to close this. And now I'm not in the compare, so if I want to say, okay, I guess 
with this particular one you can't be and compare when you when you're editing so i'm going to say ford um, and now i'm going to instead of bmw i'm going to say dodge which is good american girl and now if i want to run the compare compare again i'm going to come up to the tab i'm going to right click and i'm going to say compare and so this shows you it once again gives you the three x intra line modifications five lines were removed and seven lines difference total it's going to tell you that this and it's even telling you um character by character because the old was volvo well the difference between volvo and ford is only three characters on the left and four characters on the right so it's even saying whoa ford has an o and volvo has an o um, so it allows you to kind of do that and scroll up and down. So when you're scrolling, you know, this is just a little short piece of code. But if you were doing it longer, you could just scroll together and kind of look at those differences. So we went over uh, font size. You can increase that with the uh, um, control and then keyboard plus or keyboard minus. You can see files side by side by this is the compare so you can't edit and compare but you you can say view and then um and the ruler if it comes up if it comes up and you don't have any line numbers you can go to you know put in 120 and that'll bring up the line numbers and then they they stay that way but um, if we want to have side by side, we go to view, then we go down to layout, which is up here, and we choose whether we want single, and then we choose layout, we choose if we want to have two columns, and you can drag your file to either side. So if you want your before on the left, or if you want your before on your right, or if you want them the after on the right and the before on the left and be really anal like Jill Mac you can do that and to do compare you want to go up to the tab and right click and then say compare with now if you're down in here and you right click oh it allows you to do that too so you just have to be in the one and say compare or compare selection or mark a particular selection for comparing so if I wanted to mark this and then right click mark selection for compare and maybe mark this selection for compare and then compare that would just compare a particular selection and then it would tell you about that selection. So if you had really big files you could do that. Anyways, have fun with Compare. It is a very important debugging tool. It shows you about the before and the after. The before is your original code. The after is the code that you've changed. And remember, if you are a junior programmer and you're going to a senior programmer for some help, they're going to say, where's the code that ran? And then, where's your changes? They want to see that so that their answers can be quick, quick, quick. They don't want to hear about every change that you've made. And you certainly don't want to go there and say, well, I've changed 100 lines of code. Um, you want to give them kind of baby steps, little snippets, so that they just answer that question quickly. If you go in there and take up a lot of their time, um, they're not going to be as helpful in the future. So have fun programming. And my students know that if they need me, they can give me a call at 802 254-8628 and we can Zoom or Google Hangout or Meetup or whatever you'd like and do this online together. Thank you.